This video is kindly sponsored by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Hello all. Merry Christmas. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Susie J. We are on the floor right now, and that is because it is 1 a.m. I couldn't sleep, and I decided I could conquer the world right now, so I'm going to start doing my own nails at home. Now, I actually ordered this online nail kit ages ago. I got a few pieces from Amazon, I believe. I'll put them in the description box. But I was inspired to do this by seeing a lot of other YouTubers since coronavirus has happened doing their nails at home. They make it look so easy, so I am inspired. I have watched a good two hours of nail tutorials. I'm just here to have a good time. I mean, if these nails don't turn out amazing, then that is okay. Last time I got my nails done at the salon, I got a really bad cut on my nail which was from the file going up onto my cuticle. It costs a lot of money. I also have a fear of the little brush thing that they use to brush the dust off of your nails because I can feel the dust of every single person whose nails that brush has touched before. And it just gives me a little bit of the heebie-jeebies. And I wanted to try do my nails at home where I can control the sanitization. I know it's only me touching these things. And I can put my nasty nails all over them and not worry about anybody else's nasty nails. So I think I should get right into this because I'm not actually looking to pull an all-nighter tonight, but I did watch a tutorial by Kiara Sky Nails, who I believe has a very successful nail company. I did not have the money to buy those things though. So we're starting off with the beginner Amazon, eBay type of stuff. The first thing that we need to do, I believe, is push back my crusty ass cuticles. Let me quickly do a before of my nails. So hopefully that's focused. This is what my nails look like before. I have hangnails all over. Look at all of this stuff. I literally paid a hundred dollars, Australian dollars, for everything that I'm gonna be using today. And that's how much it costs to get my nails done sometimes. So that's insane. I have this little cuticle pusher, so I'm just gonna start by pushing back my gross ass cuticles. Apparently you're not supposed to push too hard because it can damage your nail bed. My cuticles are basically halfway down my nail at this point. <laughs> My hair is air drying. I actually have my new hair. I got some baby lights in there. Which is the positions with you. I've heard a lot of the YouTubers videos who I've seen do this say that it took them like four hours. I'm really hoping that this isn't going to take me four hours, but knowing me, it's probably going to take me six. The real issue here today is going to be my right hand. I can't use my left hand to save my actual life. I can't even paint my nails. I don't know why I even think that I can do acrylic nails, but you know what? I'm just going to try my absolute best today and we're going to see what happens. So yeah, welcome to my dirty, stanky nail salon. I hope you have a good time today. We'll give you a nice hand massage, maybe give you an ingrown in the process. There definitely is a teensy bit of cuticle left on my nails. If I push any harder, I'm gonna like push through my nails. So the next thing that I'm supposed to do is file my nails so there's no shine on them. And that's where my nifty new electric drill bit comes in. But yes, this is the new torture device that I have purchased. And I believe that we're gonna need a soft drill bit. I have this selection. Can we see that? That one feels quite soft. So I think I'm gonna go with that one. How the heck do I get this in? I must have to screw it. Oh, what is going on? That's not gonna go in there. I was doing the wrong end. <laughs> oh, it's supposed to go in that way. Well, that makes sense. Wait, did I push it in too far? Oh wait, it's not plugged in. <laughs> Wait, no, that's the, what's going on? Oh, I wasn't twisting it enough. <gasps> I'm doing it. Ow. You know, it is very easy to roll off with this thing. I can understand why. I should probably be wearing a mask. <gasps> oh, Jesus. Oh, it just spun around my nail. I'm 
focusing so hard right now. Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> Not gonna lie, a little bit tricky to get the use of, and I feel like I'm doing it like at the slowest speed I possibly can. Okay, just took me 10 minutes to just file my nails. We're starting off strong. Kiara Sky, <laughs> I need you. You know, like Nanny McPhee, I need you. We need you, Nanny McPhee. We need you, Nanny McPhee. Her nails that she did look a lot less scratched up than mine. I'm starting to think I used too hard a drill bit. Uh-oh. Okay, now we're gonna apply the nail tips, apparently. I'm just gonna quickly wipe off all the dust off of my fingers. Now, before we get on to the next step, guys, I just wanna quickly take a second to talk about the sponsors of today's video, Squarespace. I've been using Squarespace to create my own Suzy J Todd website, and I was blown away how easy it is to use. They have a massive range of templates in all different layouts. You can change the font, the color, add your own logos, icons, and pictures. You can basically customize anything you want. They even have easy to follow video tutorials to help you get started. And it is just so straightforward to use. Head to the link in the description box to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using code SUSIEJTODD. If you are looking to start anything from a blog to your own website, your online business, then Squarespace is the platform for you. Here are my nail tips. I had to buy these separately because they don't seem to really come in any of the kits. So basically what I have to do now is size them to my nails. So I guess we'll just do the thumb first. These look kind of thumb sizey, the zeros. Nope, that's way too big. I mean, one seems like a pretty good size, but let's just have a look at two just in case. Wow, I feel like this isn't gonna go horribly. I have a good feeling about this now. <laughs> and I just want it to end now. Two seems a tinsy little bit small, so we're gonna go with number one. I'm pretty sure from the nail salon, I remember them putting the glue on my finger. Here's some Nailene Ultra Quick Nail Glue. This isn't actually from the kit. This is one I already had. I'm gonna apply a dot. That seems like a lot. Ooh. Okay, and very surprisingly, I haven't got any super glue on my fingers yet. We've got the first one on. <gasps> I almost got... <gasps> I haven't got any super glue on my fingers yet. I got glue on my finger. I did not glue that very well. <gasps> it's wonky. Oh my god. I've done one finger and it's wonky. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna try and stick all of these tips on. So I want to do some almond shaped nails today. I don't know, I'll insert a photo of my inspiration. And a tinsy wincy dot for my pinky winky. Please don't be wonky. <laughs> Please don't be wonky donkey. There we go guys. They're on. <laughs> Let's do the right hand now. Oh my God. One hundred and ten percent applied that wonky. I'm just hoping when I go back and shape them that I can stop it from being so wonky. Ah, oh, I put so much on that one. Oh my Lord, there's glue everywhere. And it's wonky. We have all of them on now. My nails are super glued, so there's no turning back now. And now I guess I'm just gonna cut them all to shape. Okay, so as much as I love the look of long nails, I do not, uh, as much as I love the look of long nails, I do not want these long because I have to go to the gym. Okay, I'm gonna do them like this short. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's making the nails go like white because my scissors are bending them. I don't know how to avoid that from happening. Hopefully it doesn't affect the end result of the nails. I cut that one way too far. Oh, it just, it literally just peeled off. Is that supposed to be able to happen? We can make this work. Then she grabs a nail file and she just files the nails into shape. That seems 
pretty almondy. That's what I've just done. Here's the other ones. This is gonna take freaking ages. <laughs> Oh my god, this is taking so long. Okay, we're back. I filed my nails then for what felt like 30 minutes. We're going to blend the nail with the sanding band in the middle bit where it connects the plastic to my nail. I can already see some of them lifting, but I'm just hoping once the acrylic powder is on, it'll be fine. I'm going to be honest, I'm not having fun anymore. I'm suffering, <laughs> but I've already committed to this, so we're going to keep on going until my nails are beautiful. That one's bending upwards. I definitely <laughs> did something wrong with that one. Ah! Well, I just burnt myself really badly. Let's clean up the workspace. You know, that's um, future Susie's problem. Cleaning that up? Not mine. We are going to start with prepping the nail for acrylic application with our dehydrator and our primer. Like, how do I get all of this stuff under my nails gone? Should I just worry about that later? Bits under my nails. Can you tell what I'm talking about? I've got like little plastic bits. Where the freaking face is this dehydrator? I have these nail cleanser wipes, so I guess maybe I'll just wipe all of my nails with that first. I'm gonna use pink polymer powder. And our acrylic liquid. Oh, this stank. So I don't think I actually got a primer with my kit. I think I just have to go straight in to the acrylic stuff. So I guess we'll just pour this into the little cup. Why am I shaking? We're gonna practice on this paper towel here first so I get the right amount. But you're just supposed to wipe one side lightly and then you dip in and it's supposed to not be too wet or too dry that seems pretty good to me i'm gonna try do the two-step method so you're supposed to start at the end of your nail and do one ball halfway through and then you're supposed to do a ball at the tip of your nail okay so i'm gonna start here Start pulling that down. I don't think I grabbed enough. I mean, that wasn't too bad, but it wasn't great either. Oh wait, I think I'm supposed to wipe the brush first. Now I'm gonna try do the upper ball. I feel like I grabbed that a bit better. I'm getting very much clumpiness. Um, I don't think I did the best job ever, but you know, we're gonna just have to work with it. And I feel like if I file it down, it's gonna be fine. So I'm just gonna keep on going <laughs> and hope that we can work this out. Okay, I'm definitely like, I don't think I'm getting it wet enough. So for our next one, I'm gonna try and get it much wetter. dries very quickly and you do have to move quite fast maybe because I'm set up with a ring light right now what do I do if I get it on my skin okay I think I've done the acrylic as much as I can on this hand here's what it looks like I 100% underestimated how hard this was going to be oh I did that one kind of good I really did 
Oh, maybe. No, I spoke too soon. Here is my nails with just the acrylic on. Can we see them in all their glory? You know, for my first time, I feel like they're not the worst job in the world. She said that she encapsulated it with a clear, but I do not have the patience for that at all. So we're just gonna like try and file these down to make them look nice. And then I'm gonna paint on them and do some gel nail polish. And then I think we're gonna be done. She said to tap on them to see if they're dry. It stinks like a nail salon in my room now. So I honestly don't know how I'm going to comfortably sleep in here tonight. You guys saw my nails before filing. Let's hope that they look a little bit better afterwards. Ow! Ooh! That thing is dangerous. Okay, I think I have done as much filing as I can possibly bear. I'm bleeding on almost every single finger. It is time for the nail polish with my little LED lamp thingy. So first I'm supposed to go in with this nail primer. And then I cure it. I guess I'll just do the middle one, 90 seconds. Then I guess we just chill whilst it cures. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. I got the towel stuck to my nail. Where the skies are so blue. Surely that's been 90 seconds. No, it's still wet. What the frick? Murray was really hyping me up about doing my own nails. And when he sees these, he's going to be like, maybe you should just pay the money and get them done. Are these dry? They're still not dry. I don't know. I'm going to try to put them in at the same time. Apply thin layer. I did not. I think it's pretty much dry now. There's still like jelly layer on top, but I'm very impatient. So we're just gonna go straight in with the gel polish now. <laughs> I'm not waiting a second longer. So I've got this bubblegum pink color. Ooh. And we're gonna paint my nails. It's very uh, not pigmented. It's kind of like a see-through pink. That's what I'm getting. It is 4 a.m. <laughs> and I just want it to end now. I'm over it. I was over it a long time ago. Like I want to leave them. <laughs> like they are right now because I don't want to do another coat but I know I probably should do another coat I'm a hot mess it's still not done how is that even possible here's what they're looking like so far that's with one layer that's it that's it I give up this UV light has got me to my wits end. I'm taking off the nail polish. Oh, like the nail polish is still on and I'm trying to wipe it off. Turns out I was kind of exaggerating. I think that they actually are dry because the nail polish is still on there after me trying to wipe it off with nail polish remover. I 
do still want to do like some sort of nail design on my tips. Let's do grey tips. We've got a grey right here. I feel like that kind of looks good. I'm not completely mad. Sometimes my talent just shines through. Okay, oh my god guys, and I think all we need is a little bit of cuticle oil and then I am finished. Cuticle oil. Oh, it smells good. Okay guys, and the final reveal. So here are the final nails. I mean, I honestly think I did a pretty good job, but to be completely fair, this has taken me... It's 4.40 a.m. So how long is that? That's three hours and 40 minutes. Guys, can you comment down below and tell me if I was doing anything wrong? Or maybe that's a pretty good try for my first go. I'm not sure. So what do you guys think of the final nails? I like how short I did them. I like the fact that they match my jumper right now. I think that's pretty cute. I think I need to get like a new LED lamp or something because this was not cutting it. It was taking me like literally three times to do my nails and there would still be a sticky substance on top. So hairs would get stuck to them. My nails are stinging right now. I cut myself so many times accidentally with that grinder. Props to any nail artists watching this. You guys are amazing that you can do such cool designs in such a short amount of time. Jesus, it must take practice because this was freaking hard. I like thought I was gonna get into the little jemmies, but I am not advanced enough for doing that yet. <laughs> But I'm still gonna continue and try get better at doing my own nails at home because even though it was really, really hard, it was quite fun to do this and to have a go. Maybe I won't do it at 1am next time. We'll see how I'm feeling. <laughs> but anyway, I guess it's time to go to sleep now because it is literally 4.40am. My dad is up to go to work. If you haven't already, please subscribe and join our family of all shapes and sizes. You are welcome here. Also, make sure to like if you enjoyed and leave a comment. Let me know if you have any tips for next time or if you have any video suggestions. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Todd. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Mwah.